Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is in our series of tools to remove malware on your computer. We're continuing with what is one of the best malware removal tools out there. Um, like every you know antivirus and malware revo removal software, it's not perfect of course there are some things that it doesn't detect well or remove well but it detects the majority of what's really bad and this is really uh, a great piece of software and I think everybody should at least have a copy of this on their computer um, you know alongside your antivirus it's Malwarebytes anti-malware software so the address is malwarebytes.org. You uh, will have the link below the video. And uh, this is a piece of software that's very useful. It detects a lot of viruses, malware, rootkits. Um, it's one of the major software for that. And um, everybody should have it. It is part of the tools that I use when I go to a client's home and want to remove malware from their computers. All you have to do is go into the free version download if you don't want to pay. The uh, premium version has um, one tool that is interesting is that not only does it scan for malware but it has a real-time scan. So it means that like an antivirus it checks for malware all the time. That's for the premium version. If you don't want a premium that's fine. You can click the free version download. It will remove pretty much everything uh, that it finds. It's uh, quite good. So you click the free version download and you will be sent to this page. Now be careful once again like every page of malwares and antivirus you might visit when you are infected there are spoof pages. Pages that should not be there that appear. There are ads everywhere that appear. Be careful. Make sure the page looks like this one and that you click in the gray column the download below the free version, Malwarebytes Intel Malware, or of course, like I said, if you want to pay, upgrade to the paid version. So once you click the download button, you should be sent to the download of anti, uh, Malwarebytes Intel Malware. You should see the download going with mbam-setup dash two point or whatever version they are now at that is very important you need to check this make sure you download the correct piece of software um, if you are infected chances are this page will not look like this maybe you'll be sent somewhere else or another type of uh, supposedly malware software I see that all the time when I go to computers to a client's house that are really infected. Uh, you can't download it, you can't get it. So if you can't download it from your machine, then use a friend's computer or another computer that you know is fine. Download a copy, put it on a USB thumb drive, on a CD, and just bring it over to that infected machine so you can install it. Another thing that happens uh, from Malwarebytes sometimes, you try to update it. If your machine is severely uh, infected by malware, it sometimes cannot update because the malware changes uh, and blocks the possibility of any antivirus and malware software from updating to make sure you can detect it. So be careful with that. Once you have downloaded, installed it, uh, make sure that it's updated with the latest database version. Um, since we are March 10 today, you see here, March 10, 2015. Uh, this is version 06 for today. You click the Update Now button if you're not sure. It's going to tell you if it's updated or not. You click the big Scan Now button at the bottom right of your screen. And you let it do its job. Now, Malwarebytes, the way it works, it scans a lot of spots on your computer, but it will scan more if it detects malware. So that means that if it doesn't detect anything, it's going to do a quick scan. And that shouldn't be very long, five, 10 minutes. 
but if it detects some malware, depending on the malware that it finds, it might actually go much, much further. It might actually scan and take, um, I'd say that in most cases on clients' computers, it could take up to an hour, depending on what you have. Let it do its job. It's very important that you let it scan and do all of the scan that it can do. It's very, very important. Once it's scanned, what you will have is a um, window where it's going to show you what it detected. It has two colors in that detection window. It's going to tell you that there's malware or adware and it can show it in yellow or orange. That means, okay, this is bad stuff, um, but it's not the worst. But if you have very severe malware infections, what it will do actually is show it in red. It's going to tell you in red, you've got this number of malware. And what's in red is very, very bad. It means that you really need to remove it. So it's very important that you let it do its job. Once the scan is done and it tells you what it found, what you'll need to do is click the uh, button. There's a button on the uh, left side um, that lets you put or quarantine all. That is the button that you'll actually click. Here I'm not letting it go through because I don't want to have a 45 minute video just scanning. But on the left side here at the bottom, you'll have a button called quarantine all. Click that button um, and you know just let it clean up. And after it's done, just restart your computer. Very important. Always restart after a malware scan. That's very important. So you'll just, you know, restart the machine and hopefully malware will be gone and things are going to be better. So this is Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. It's a great piece of software. Why not go and get it as it will really help you fix any uh, malware or most malware you know like I said earlier it's not perfect it is a good piece of software one of the best out there uh, so it could be used in conjunction with any other uh, tools that I'm actually uh, talking about in this series on malware on computers if you enjoy our videos when I subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online uh, maybe you have a question, maybe you have uh, something that you'd like us to talk about, make a video of to help you and help others at the same time, let us know. If you got that new computer, why not check through our videos. Lots of helpful stuff in video form on this channel. And thank you for watching.